Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the grill in your Mustang. All right, so the first thing you want to do is take out all these fasteners. So you got one here, 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 and then you've got some down back here. So I'm actually missing, I only have two down there, so I'm missing, there should be four down there, but once you get those fasteners off, you should be able to lift the grill right out. All right, so now that you have your grill, or my old grill with just fog lights on them, uh, you're go you can go ahead and put it back in now. So really, you can put your horse and crowd and all that on after you get this in. It might make it easier, but then you gotta struggle to put all your nuts and things on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to slide it in with everything still attached to it. So I wanted this to be as close to factory as possible. So I got the factory fog switch from Scott Drake. And this is the wiring harness I got for it. Um, yeah, we'll see if it's any good at the end of this video. So here's the schematic for it. So as you can see, it's a completely different wiring harness that goes alongside. It comes through your radiator support. So if it's not an original GT car, um, there won't be holes drilled in the radiator support for these wires to go through. I'm not gonna drill holes in my radiator support because after I paint this car, it's going back to factory original, so these are coming off. So I've got a hole for the AC hoses to go through on my driver's side, so that's where those wires are gonna go. And then I'm gonna sneak the ones on the passenger side through the radiator opening through the side along that. So I'll have to make some custom wiring extensions for it. But here's the wiring kit. This is the part, words. This is the portion that goes in the engine bay. This is the portion that goes in the cabin. This is what hooks to your fog light switch. One of these goes to your tail lights. This other one goes to interrupt your headlights, or this goes to your headlight switch. Uh, this goes through your firewall. This one gets grounded. Or this one goes to your circuit breaker, which is this thing. Um, and then it comes with wires to, hold on, I forgot what's what going on here. Then it comes for wires. This goes to your starter relay. So I'm actually gonna hook this up to my ignition. And then these go to your headlights. And this is what you use to ground them. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and start routing this wiring. So depending on how new your restoration is, since mine's relative, wow, my screw's coming out for my washer bag. Squirrel. So depending on how new your restoration for your engine compartment is, You'll have these little clips that hold your wiring harness and all that up. So we're going to go ahead and use those to run our wire through. So we're going to say it's going to come somewhere like there. So let's see if I can undo these without breaking them. There's one. It also might be better to do this in warmer weather, if not when everything's brittle, including my fingers. Take our washer, wipe the bag off, behind there, and then we're gonna run this up in front of the radiator where that wiring harness is at. Some of these bad boys are on good. All right, so I got the wiring all done. Had to put some new terminal ends on there. So ran the wire right here along the top of the radiator support, came down through. So in 66 and in 65, there were vent holes, they were different styles I believe, but to cool the battery, so I just ran my wire through there for my positive and for my ground, I ran it back through here and there was a ground already here, so I went ahead and grounded it here. Then for this side, I ran it through the wiring hole here, connected to my wiring harness here, and then grounded it right here. And if you're going for 
the factory original look um these dimples right here i believe is where you would drill out to have the correct spot for the wires to go through um the kit comes with these grommets to fill those holes so yeah you can see they go through right there and right there it looks like so now engine bay has been wired i need to find a place to stick the wire through the firewall but first i'm going to go inside install the switch and the circuit breaker and then get everything wired up and go from there all right welcome to the part of the video where uh this filming gets extremely difficult and the footage will probably be terrible but let me see what i can do so we're trying to hook up Part of this circuit is you got to interrupt the light switch which is right here you got to interrupt that circuit and the connector you're looking for is this one i do believe so it's yellow and black so what you're going to do is disconnect these um, and then you'll have these two connectors right here on your new wiring harness that you'll um, interrupt it with and then You'll put your switch. I'm mounting my switch in this hole right here. So I believe for early 66s or 65s, this is where the GT fog lights were. For a 66, I believe it's supposed to be drilled here in the dash. It's like two or three inches up and an inch and a half from the side. I'm not drilling a hole in my dash, but that's a way to figure out if it's an original GT for 66. I'm just going to put it in that hole right there. So I'm going to unplug these, interrupt my circuit. Um, and then we'll pick up from there. I'm not going to show that because it's just impossible. It's not impossible, but it's a pain in the butt to try to film that. So you'll get to skip the agony of trying to get that unplugged. So I got it apart. As you can see, I interrupted the circuit, hooked this right back in. So now the circuit's complete again. I went ahead and installed my switch. I connected my switch up. And now you need to, sorry for my beautiful fingers you need to get this resistor or i forget exactly what it is um and so you need to make sure it's grounded as well so oh so many wires a lot of people oh the filming is terrible okay so right here on this heater box and not heater box but it lets fresh air into the car so this is a common place for people to mount these and i believe this is where they mounted it to from the factory so as you can see there's a good stud, I can't even get my hand there, but you can see hopefully the stud by that wiring on the left side. Um, I would like to put it there, can't get my hand there in the first place, but also it's missing the bolt. So I'm going to go ahead, there's a, another stud back here that's in the shadow that you can't see that I'm going to go ahead and mount it to. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mounted and then I'll bring you back showing it mounted and all the wires connected to it. I would also connect the wires to this before you mount it. It might just be easier to get it up there and with them on instead of once you get it mounted up there trying to then get wires on there and hold them up there and tighten these nuts back down so i'm going to go ahead and install the wires before i mount it and let you know how that goes all right so i got my fog light switch all done to up and as you can see hopefully up there i got the resistor in um, that nut was a pain or whatever the heck that thing is called up there, the regulator, um, voltage regulator maybe is what it's called. I got that all in. It was a pain to get that nut on to keep it up there, but it's up there now. And then the wire on the right is supposed to go to um, the ignition. So you're supposed to splice into your ignition line, I think, or a wire that goes to your ignition. But I didn't want to splice into it, so... I have these two wires here, one's uh, uh, blue and black, or black with blue striping, the other one is green and I don't know what, I think they're both green, but this one right here and this one. So when I turn the car to ignition or accessory, I got 12 volts here, so I went ahead and hooked it into here. So uh, let's go ahead and turn the light switch on and see if it works. So we got normal headlights and then fog lights. And as you can see, when you have your fog lights on, your rear taillights are also supposed to come on. So it works. One thing to note is if you hook it up 
where I hooked mine up. If you open the car door and have your fog lights on at the same time, you blow a fuse. <laughs> Ask me how I learned. So you might want to try another place to hook it up, but as long as you know to turn your fog lights off before you get out of the car. And also it won't blow the fuse right away, but if you have your door open for a long time with the fog lights on, it will pull too many amps, I believe is what causes the um, fuses to blow or whatever causes them to blow. Um, and you'll just have to put a new fuse in, but it all worked. So that wraps up this project as I roll into another project to work on the suspension. Thanks for watching. See you guys here next time.